Hi everyone, this is Grace from Yeser Chemicals and welcome back to our channel. So guys, we're back at it again in another formulation video. And for today, we're going to make one of the highly requested product in our YouTube comments, which is car shampoo. So in this video, we'll teach you how to properly formulate it, what are the key ingredients in making a professional grade car wash shampoo, its roles, and in this formulation, it is a cost effective, but with high quality chemical or raw materials using yes or chemical ingredients. So if you want to know more about it, just stay with us and watch the next part of this video. Here we have our list of ingredients. So for our formulators and trainees, we recommend that uh, you need to check the appropriate types of chemicals that you need to use either for the primary role, the secondary role, and the other additives that you need to incorporate in your product, you need to consider all of them according to your quality or preference needs. Okay? So for car wash shampoo, this is unlike regular dishwashing liquids or laundry detergents. So car wash shampoo is designed to remove dirt, grease, and road grime without stripping the wax or damaging the car's clear coat. Okay, so this is for the outer surface of cars. And it's specially formulated to be pH balanced, high foaming, and gentle on surfaces. This is perfect for both DIY car washers and professional detailers. So in fact, our target pH for this formulation is between 7 to 8. So this is the optimal pH for our car surfaces to be protected while we clean it using our car wash shampoo. This means it's neutral to slightly alkaline, which is safe for paint, for chrome, rubber, and plastic trims of our cars. So let's break down the ingredients in this formula. So for this 200 ml batch sample that we're gonna make, we have the following blend of surfactants. So for the blends of surfactants, we need something that can um, easily or powerful to remove the grease dirt and grime and also for gentleness for the surfaces of the car we need to balance them out even though that we are uh, getting the decreasing power we need to balance it out with mildness from the surfactants and also the high foaming that is desirable also for car wash shampoo okay so this synergy of the surfactants ensures performance without damaging the delicate paint or stripping off the protective waxes of cars so we have here SLS needle, 92%. So this has a powerful cleaning performance and also has high foaming as well and produces fine foams, which is desirable for car wash shampoos. Next is our SLES, 70%. So this has a high cleaning performance as well, but milder than SLS needles. And also this has foam boosting properties and also hard water resistant. Our additional mildness, we have CAB35. This is an amphoteric surfactant which is mild and also has foam boosting uh, property. And next, the greaser or grease cutting surfactant which is AOS powder, 92%. So this will also give a high foaming quality for our product. Next is our additives which is um, sodium chloride. This will be our thickener for our uh, formulation for car wash shampoo and citric acid our buffer or pH adjuster to attain our desired pH range of 7 to 8 and next our chelating agent which is EDTA disodium okay so this will bind to the unwanted metal ions uh, that might interfere with our uh, surfactants in the cleaning performance of our product formulation next our deionized water and next, for our preservative, we have MIT CMIT. For car wash shampoo, um, it is practical to not use uh, fragrance and dye in it because it's all, only for outer parts, for the use of cleaning outer parts of our car surfaces. So fragrance and dye doesn't have a major impact, unlike the shushing liquid, laundry detergent, uh, floor cleaner. So those have uh, much more a requirement for fragrance and dye for their marketing appeal but for product formulators and manufacturers um, they can uh, add fragrance and dye as needed for their marketing appeal or uh, for their own preferences 
So let's start. Let's begin with our phase A, which is the aqueous phase. Let's add the ionized water in our mixing vessel or beaker. Weigh about 7 to 2% or 144 grams of the ionized water for our 200 ml batch. Next, our chelating agent. We will add 0.2% of this or 0.4 grams for our formulation. Then, let us mix. So now that our EDTA disodium has been fully dissolved in our water, let's add SLS needles. So for SLS needles, to effectively dissolve it, we need to put it in a water bath at 65 to 70 degrees Celsius together with other surfactants to uh, fully emulsify it and dissolve to prevent uh, residues building up after we have completely formulated our product. We're gonna heat up our water up to 65 degrees Celsius and then we will add our SLS needles. Weigh about 8% or 16 gram of this SLS needles. Now I will stir our water face with SLS needles until it is completely dissolved. So, how is car shampoo different from other uh, all-purpose cleaner or dishwashing soap? So, many people ask, can't I just use dishwashing liquid or an all-purpose cleaner for my car? Well, the answer is no. Because those products are often too harsh and car shampoo is designed to be gentle, foam swell, and rinse clean without removing wax or damaging rubber trims. So that's the difference between a professional product and a household cleaner. After our SLS needles, we will add our SLS 70%. For SLES, we will add 10% of this or 20 grams for our formulation. Now our SLES has been fully dissolved. We will now add CAB35. Let's add 5% of this or 10 grams for our formula. It's completely dissolved, the CAB. Now let's add our AOS, 92%. So this chemical will give us the grease removal power and high foaming quality of our product. So let's add 3% of this or 6 gram for our formula. Okay, our AOS has been fully dissolved now. It's a bit hot. So let's just cool this down. Now that all our surfactants have been fully dissolved in our water phase, let's now cool this down to add our next ingredient, which is preservative. So we need to let it cool until it reaches 40 degrees Celsius at least to prevent degrading our preservative. For our preservative, we will use MIT CMIT, 0.2 grams or 0.1% for our formulation. Let's mix. After the preservative, we will now add our thickener, which is salt or sodium chloride. We will add 1.5% or 3 grams for our solution. So we will add this gradually in a 0.5 grams increment. 0.5. Let's just stir this uh, slowly. Okay, let's add more. Let's 
try to mix it in the stirrer to avoid the uh, more foam from building up. Now we have this thick consistency for shampoo. So we already added 2.1 grams for this formula and I think this is uh, enough for the consistency of a shampoo. It build up some foam there but it will settle down if we rest it a bit. Now we will check the pH of this product to see if it's within the pH range that we need which is between 7 to 8. Now that we have adjusted our pH for the formula, we have achieved a pH value of 7.67. So that is within the range of the pH that we want for our product. Now our product is ready to go. We have already checked the pH. We achieved the desired viscosity. And we have fully dissolved all the ingredients in our product. Now we're ready to pack. Don't worry about the bubbles that have formed. This is due to the mixing uh, process. After we have set it out for some time, this will be removed. Okay. And that's it for today. Now you understand how to formulate a car shampoo, the science behind it. So if you want to learn more or order our raw materials for making this, just contact Yeser Chemicals today and we'll help you every step of the way.